Hey guys, so this is my Tenacity TT Pro and I just want to make a quick video about how you can squeeze a little bit more power out of this thing just with the stock setup. And the reason for this is because when I first got this truck, uh, I was a little bit disappointed at uh, at the power, really the, the low end torque that it seemed to lack. And uh, right away I set it up for a three cell battery, which is um, pretty simple. There's some little risers that go uh, in your battery compartment to um, give you enough room for a taller three cell battery. Um, so I, I set that up like that right away and uh, didn't have much torque. So um, I went with the recommended pinion that they give you for a running three cell. I think it was two teeth smaller than the, the pinion that comes in it. So I, I did that and it still just didn't seem to have the, the torque that I was expecting, uh, which was disappointing. So um, I thought about putting a different motor in it, but and then I did what I should have done to begin with. I, uh, I opened up the owner's manual to look to see if this ESC is programmable. And what do you know it is? So I started looking at this and I noticed that um, you got a lot of stuff you can adjust in here. You got typical um, running mode, which is, you know, if you're going to race the truck, you're probably going to want to disable uh, reverse. Uh, default, it comes uh, with forward reverse and brake, which is how I'm going to leave it. Um, you can adjust your drag brake force, which means when you let off the throttle, um, if you want it to automatically brake for you, you can set it like that. By default, um, there is no braking when you let off the throttle, so it's just going to coast. I prefer it like that because if you want brakes, you push the trigger forward. Um, you got your low voltage cutoff, which is set for uh, a LiPo at 3 volts, which is pretty safe, so you probably want to leave that alone. This is the one I was actually really excited to see. So start mode is basically your initial punch. And by default, it's on level four and it goes all the way up to level nine. So I was really happy to see that. And let me tell you, when you change it, it makes a huge difference. Um, the truck will do wheelies now when it's on level nine, like I kind of expected it to right out of the box. So um, if that's something that you want, if you want full torque right away, you're gonna wanna change that. Um, and again, it made a huge difference. Um, other things you've got is you got your braking force, you've got um, reverse force. If it's by default, it'll go 25% speed in reverse, which is fine for me. Um, initial brake force, you've got basically all these settings. Another one here, timing, is something that you can mess around with if you choose. By default, it's set at 15 degrees timing advance. Now basically what you can do with this is if you advance that timing a little bit, um, you can squeeze a little bit more RPMs out. So you're going to get a little bit better of a top speed. But the trade-off is that you are decreasing efficiency, which means more heat. So if you do that, if you play around with that timing, you're going to want to have a way to monitor your motor and speed controller temp. You can get a little digital, um, digital thermometer from Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. That's what I use. Um, and... You can go the other way if you want. If you want to get a little bit more low end torque out of it and increase efficiency, which means lower the operating temp of the motor and speed controller, you can retard the timing a little bit, go back to 11 degrees. So that's gonna be up to you, I guess, on your driving style, what you're using the truck for um, or what track you're at or how you bash it. Um, but again, if you're gonna mess with that timing, you have to have a way to monitor your motor temperature or you're gonna possibly burn that thing up you really don't want to see your motor get above about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 70 Celsius. Um, anything above that and you're going to start cooking things. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I left these things alone because I haven't changed the motor. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can reprogram this. Reprogramming this is actually really simple. You don't need the programmer box or anything like that. So you just turn it on. Um, and then you're gonna this little orange button above the power button is the is the set button So you're gonna hold that down And we got that little thing we got that little LED flashing green now, so if I press this I'm gonna cycle through the different settings so it, it beep one time, so it's gonna keep repeating that That one beep means that I am in setting number one 
So we're going to want to go to setting number four, which is start mode. So I'm going to press that button again. There are two beeps. You're not going to hold the button. You're just going to press it. So it's telling me I'm in setting number two. Press it again. Now I'm in setting number three. Now I'm in setting number four. Okay. You can either listen to the beeps or you can see the LED flashing in there four times. I'm going to hold the set button again. Okay, so now it's red. So now I'm in the setting mode for setting four. And it's beeping four times. So that means I'm on that factory default of level four. So I'm going to press the set button again. I'm not going to hold it. Just press it. There's setting five. I'm going to press it again. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. Now you're cooking and your tenacity is going to do wheelies and have all the torque that it should have. So now to lock that in, I'm going to hold the save button again. Or the set button, sorry. And there, it just saved it. So now I am out of my calibration mode. I usually just turn it off, turn it on again. And now I have changed that punch setting to all the way up there at nine. And you are going to notice a huge difference in this truck when you adjust that. It's got so much more torque. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, real straightforward, easy to do. I really like this setup. When you're done, if you want to go back and confirm that it's saved, you can just go right back into your setting mode. So hold the set button. Okay, it's flashing green. There's setting one. There's two. There's three. Okay, so we're on number four, which is that punch setting. I'm going to hold the set button down again. Uh, beep nine times, which is confirming that I am, in fact, on setting nine, level nine. And that's it. I'm going to hold that button again to get out of there. Saved. Done. Good luck. Have fun.